how do you reconcile relationships in your life and ministry when uh, you have very conflicting doctrines? And uh, it might be a personal conflict going on here, but also might be, we, we tend to walk with ministries we don't have complete, you know, uh, yeah, agreement yeah. with our doctrines. I actually intentionally bring people in to speak, as, as you know. Yes, I remember those days, <laughs> yes. <laughs> bring people in that, uh, that we don't agree with, but they're good people. They're people of prayer, they're abandoned to the Lord, mm -hmm. and it just doesn't hurt us to be exposed to other segments of the body mm -hmm. to where we learn how to eat meat throughout bones. We learn how to celebrate who people are. And it comes down to, you know, they have a specific thing in mind usually when that question is asked, but it's a general question, mm -hmm. so I can miss it all together. But mm -hmm. if it's an essential thing, you know, the, like the blood of Jesus, you know, they deny the effect of the blood of Jesus or the virgin birth or whatever it yeah. might be, that's different. Then you, you have to draw relational boundaries. Yeah, and you're not going to have, you haven't had those folks into our uh our congregation speak. I have not. Yes, I, yeah. have not I have not brought. <laughs> All the majors any, we agree on, it's the, yeah, the minors. And, yeah, yeah, and, it's, uh, yeah, exactly. It's the, you know, the role of angels or yeah. you baptize in the spirit, you speak in tongues when you get it or end later or not stuff. at all and yeah. end times and devastation yeah. is, you know, those things, you know, it, there's opinions that are very diverse and we have our convictions, mm -hmm. what we feel are right, that we live by but I'm not going to exclude people that think differently. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're just, you, you just have to get to a place where you can celebrate who people are without stumbling over who they're not. That's what we, yeah. that's kind of the, uh, one of the, the mantra of the, the, the culture of honors yeah. is to really celebrate what God is doing in a person. You know, Wesley and Whitfield is, I think is a great example. They were so diverse and they were at odds for a season as I understand it. I wasn't there, but I yes. hear. Uh, <laughs> they were at odds for a season and uh, one of uh, Whitfield's uh, associates or friends said, yeah, I don't think we'll see Wesley in heaven. And Whitfield responded, yeah, yeah, I think you're right. He'll be so much closer to the throne than we are that it'll be hard to see him from where we are. And, and he was responding, obviously, in honor, wanting to yeah. honor one that he had really grown in affection for. So, you know, part of it just comes down to that. If it's an essential area, if it's a family member, that's one thing. With yeah. family, it doesn't matter what anybody believes, you're together. Yeah. You just, you know, I just, I'm not going to touch on touchy subjects. There's enough other things to talk about in life without offending or hurting people. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's a board member or a staff member or a church member or a pastor down the road, you know, there's all, there's different degrees of relationships and you just learn what wisdom is. Mm -hmm. You know, when, when do you bring the subject up? Do you at all? Is, is it an essential part of life? Um, you know, I need to, we need wisdom for that because it's, it's so easy to, you know, to, to lose, a, lose a war and win a battle, so to speak, you know, to, yeah. well, I won that argument, but I lost a friend forever. Well, that's, that's, that's not right, that's not healthy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, the value of people is, is huge. And even, even if they're wrong, because all of us, you know, my approach is that every one of us believes something that's not right. Yeah. And yeah. we're convinced we're right, you know, we are. We're, just, we're all in process. And um, so we, we just need to give each other that whole gracing. Show mercy because you're going to want it later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have that phrase on one of our visitor documents in, in, in the you know majors, unity, and the, yeah. the minors, uh, liberty, yes. and in, uh, but in all things, love. Yeah, excellent, and, uh, excellent. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And that's that came right. out of one of those guys that right after Luther passed and Calvin passed, they were all just trying to kill each other over getting doctrine right. Yeah. You know, they were just... Uh, yeah. There are lots and lots of separations and uh, church splits and <coughs> theological schools. And finally, this guy, Rupert something or other, uh, he came, he came like up with it. that phrase. And we've seen that uh, just in our lives as a congregation, in our yeah. lives, even on our own team. We have, we have some different understandings of, of certain doctrines or end times, that sort of deal. And yep. people are often surprised by that, like there's no standard. I'm, they're like, what's this Bethel standard you know, viewpoint here? I'm like, I'm not sure there is one. I know Bill's got one, Chris has yeah. one, I have yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And um, we just enjoy each other and, you know, uh, draw the strength from each other and, and uh, you know, oftentimes learn something new from each other. Yeah, you know? absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. It's, I think it's, it's a huge part of life. I think that's what we're supposed mm -hmm. to learn to do, mm -hmm. you know, because it's in associating with people of diverse gifts and diverse views that we get healthier. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't become ingrown. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that happens so much by only hanging out with people of the same opinion. Yeah, you just uh, you, you become fortified in opinion, but not necessarily in maturity. Yeah, 
Yeah. When we, were, we were working on the doctrinal statement, you know, of the church, and it, it, partly by design, it was a big tent. It was lots mm -hmm. of folks could find comfort and go, I agree with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, in the way that we did that, and and so many times that in denominations, we've just they've, they've parsed things so clearly that um, as far as end times or yeah. gifts of the spirit, that they're just their right. their belief statement actually separates and divides. Um, Maybe too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the thing that Chris has been, uh, I really started pronouncing here several years ago is, is that when you come together based on agreement, then you have to divide when there's disagreement. Yeah. But when you come together around fathers, around mothers, then it's, it's you know, in a family Thanksgiving meal, you can have a Republican daughter and a, you know, yeah. Democratic son and a libertarian cousin. Yeah, you, yeah. Know, I mean, you, can, you can have all, and you're all together and thankful. And, yeah. and, and if they really, value each other, they're going to treat each other with, exactly. with grace and civility yeah. and, exactly. and respect. Exactly. 